November the 21st, our um, good customer Hassan from uh, Philip Avenue called us uh, with a problem on his uh, sewer line. Um, he was experiencing uh, backup water into his basement. Our good technicians uh, went out and then he checked the, the problem. He used his uh, camera and he, he detected a problem outside of the um, house and a front yard where the where it looks like a broken pipe was happening. Um, a bit of an uh, a bit of an history behind uh, uh, our customer had his um, portion of his sewer line outside repaired and a backwater valve installed installed with another company and. Uh, a few months later, he ran into a problem with backup and then a clog drain. So this time, he called us and we went and we saw that uh, the previous plumber missed a point, means that he did not repair a full line. He just repaired a portion and he didn't even catch the second portion of the pipe which had a problem and this is happening before the city property line. So as you see in the picture, uh, our technician marked the area where the problem is with a cross mark and then a border all around and then um, um, this was on the 21st of November so we attempt to call uh, for the locate uh, Ontario One Call, Hydro, uh, Enbridge, Telecommunications they're all been involved, they all put the marking, they, get, they gave us a clearance for work on November the 24th, our crew showed up at the site. Our technicians did another camera inspection, recording available. Uh, so they put tarps down all over the dig areas just to collect all the dirt. They cleaned up all the snow around it. So they start digging and then um, they docked up the, uh, the grounds all the way to the depth of the pipe. They caught pictures of the broken pipe customer aware we showed him everything uh, in the camera and after that when the pipe was open so we fixed the line with all the pvc pipe there is no more clay piping on his property all the way from the point of the clean outs uh, or back water valve to the city point we repaired the lines we backfilled the, the lines we secured the pipe with the gravel we backfilled all the dirt and then we cleaned up the area no damage to his lawn, no damage to his property. We put the lawns back right where it was. Customer super happy, job well done. So thanks to Wrench It Up team. Here our crew, we already started digging. The portion outside, Roman, uh, Vladimir, and what's his name? Uh, Say hi. Uh, Ruslan. Uh, Ruslan, Ruslan. Here is Shervin and me myself. So we're gonna start doing a camera inspection and we're recording everything. Hold on now, let me make it zero. Okay, go ahead. It's a vertical point all the way down into the drain, hold on. Okay, now this is, I'll give you a second, fall back a bit. That's it, no, no, go down, down, down. Okay, leave it more down, 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 down. Okay, back. Okay, hold on, go down. Okay, so the depth is about five feet depth onto the line. Roman, five feet depth, okay? Five feet. Uh, from the tanks. Go down. Okay, now go, keep going. It's a new line PVC all the way. One feet, two feet, three feet, four feet, five feet. 6 feet change of direction 25, 7 feet, 8 feet, 9, that's it, stop. So that's where the clay pipe is stopped in here, the, the new PVC pipe is stopped in here. Roughly about 9 feet 11 inches or let's say 10 feet from the point of the clean out where exactly the clay piping starts. Go a little bit further. Okay, that's it, that's it. So that's where the problem is, water is staying in line could be a clops drain or broken pipe you guys are going to start digging here and then we're gonna try to replace this portion of the pipe all the way to this uh, to the city point thank you